expressing the higher self. So what we can start to understand is that everyone is connected to the higher self. We may be individuals and we may be expressions of unique individuality, which is the shifting and the found fundamental element of, of energy, which is we are all shifting and manifesting within a different form. The frequency of higher self, or you could say refer it to anything, which is to the infinite nature, will always interact with the soul or with the unique frequency. Just like the, if you can take something which is whole and divide it into fragments of itself, once that fragment identifies with its wholesome self, it will become aligned and one with its true originality. If that fragment self connects with something that isn't its purest form or something that is not its true self, it will always be manipulated by its counterpart. As the counterpart or that, that, that force which is effectively interacting with its untrue nature will always dictate and create the illusion that which is not true. So in saying this, what's very important to understand is that within this reality, we are all the fragment self. We are all brought into this world with the ability to choose and make choices, which will create the moment of existence. And it's this very moment of existence which allows us to generate the power of choice. And the choices of which we are making are ultimately determined by which force or which field of energy we are bringing to attention. Now, in saying this, what we must understand is the different vibrational levels of being one side of the fence or one part of the the uh, potential is love, is generosity, is happiness, is joy, is a frequency of higher nature. The other half, the other part of the fence can be referred to as dark, just dis di distortion, darkness all these lower vibrational densities of existence and what we are effectively is sound and where that sound where that existence travels and exists within is is effectively the manifestation of our present moment now in saying this we do carry a a life force or a field of of existence and that field of existence is that spark within within presence. The spark within presence has the choice to exist within whatever it resonates to. So if we are choosing to resonate with vibrational fields which we don't feel true to ourselves, we must ask ourselves what is interacting with our lives to create this disharmony within our true nature. It's the very true nature within all of us which will bring to the attention what does not feel true to ourselves. And that is the question we must ask ourselves is when we are living the true self and we are aligned to the true self, we are doing everything in our power to become aware what is taking us away from this true self. And the true self is effectively happiness. So whatever is taking us away from happiness is the great illusion or is that force of energy which is trying to create the disharmony within our within our presence of being now we must ask ourselves if the wholesome state of being is contentment is happiness is pure is love is joy then what is taking away from this presence of emotional elevation that is the greatest question